Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Erica. If you're new here, welcome. Okay guys, so what we're looking for basically is some really nice home decor gifts to give to people for Christmas. But we want to buy it on our BBB. In case you don't know what a BBB is, that's a broke bitch budget. So I asked Google to show me the places near me that I could get cheap home decor gifts. And these are what Google said were cheap. Let's go see what cheap home decor gifts we can find. Instantly, I knew Google was not a couponer because Google said Nordstrom. Okay, Google, I'll humor you. And just as I thought, not going to happen. This wine shadow box, $59.99. We later saw this at Walmart for $8.97. And these two are not exactly alike, but one is $59 when the other one is $29.99. And the $29.99 one is bigger and more vibrant and pretty. So here's this little beauty for about the cost of a car payment. And then there's this. If you want, I'll charge you $49 and I'll draw it for you myself. So as you can imagine, Nordstrom is not BBB approved. Okay, since Nordstrom paid off Google, let's see where else Google's gonna send us. And fear not, because we're not gonna be at this store very long. I guess when you think about it, Google is a multi-billion dollar company, so this probably is cheap for them. But let's skim through it real quick. Um, yeah, that's not going to happen. Maybe when I win the lottery and want to put a $250 mirror in my mansion. I wonder if you break a $250 mirror, do you have 10 times as bad luck as if you broke a $25 mirror? So, to no surprise to anybody, Pier 1 Imports is not BBB approved. And Google also said Target. Okay, now you're speaking my language. Unless we're talking about home decor, because Target's not the cheapest on home decor as well. These are not horribly priced, and I guess when you pair it with the Target Circle coupon, it wouldn't be so bad if you were putting it in your own home. But as a gift, a little too high. Don't get me wrong, I love a good Target deal. But for cheap home decor gifts, Target is not BBB approved. Next, Google suggested home goods. Here's my two cents. Lots of items, way too many people, and more things were on the higher price end than the lower price end. If you get overwhelmed easily with a lot of things you have to go through, probably should avoid this store. But if you have the patience to dig, you could find a cheap treasure here. Overall, based on my experience here, home goods is not BBB approved. But I ain't mad at you, Home Goods. You had some cheap things, but you had some really expensive things too. And just when you are starting to lose all hope in Google, Google sends us to At Home. And let me tell you, this place has it all. Shadow boxes, super cheap, little signs like this, under 15 bucks. They literally have everything. Almost every comforter in there was under 30 bucks. Cute little throws, 15 bucks. At home has got their stuff together. I was beginning to wonder if this was ever going to happen, but I think it is safe to say that at home is BBB approved. And next I thought, man, Google's filling me now. Send me back to my home place. Dollar General, the big DG. Now I feel like I really give Dollar General a lot of credit on my channel you all know you've all been there they got good prices don't forget on saturday you can stack it with the five off 25 we're not even going to go there we know in my opinion dollar general is now and forever bbb approved it's okay dg you got to share the spotlight with some other stores i have to say this one was probably the biggest shocker ever i just assumed kirkland's was pretty expensive and I assumed wrong. The quality of their stuff was very good. Their prices were good. Their sale prices were better. 
they had a large variety of things and I really thought that it was going to be like another Nordstrom kind of situation, but it wasn't. It was totally different. So as shocked as I am to say this, Kirkland's is BBB approved. Okay, I've been to Family Dollar a lot, but I can honestly say I've never really looked at their home decor stuff until Google told me I should look at their home decor stuff. And honestly, I was highly impressed. Most of our stuff at my store was coastal stuff because we live in Florida, but they had other non-coastal stuff. It was good quality and super cheap. We had these super cute canvases for $3.50 a piece. As I said, a lot of it's coastal stuff, but there was some non-coastal stuff. And ignore the tag on the shelf because I totally sat them down there so I could take pictures of them. But like I said, highly impressed. I grabbed these three little hang boards. They were $2 each, which I thought was a great deal. But when I got up to the register, they were a dollar a piece. They were on sale. Now, granted, they do have a small selection of stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and say that Family Dollar is BBB approved. Okay, and then there was Walmart. As if you didn't know this was going to show up on this list. We all know what they got. We've all been there. We've all seen it. We've probably all purchased some of it. You want the shadow boxes? They got it. Under 10 bucks, no problem. If you want the plain shadow boxes, they got them too. Everybody's bought something for their house from Walmart. Little picture frames, add a picture, give it to the grandparents. They love it. Cost you 10, 15 bucks most. So, nobody's going to be surprised that the Waltons didn't let us down again. Walmart is definitely BBB approved. And now, for my top pick of the best place to find cheap home decor Christmas gifts on a BBB budget is Michael's. And I ain't shocked about it. I ain't mad about it. Michael's is the place to get cheap home decor. And to make it even better, until December 28th, they're having 50% off all home decor. So get ready for some picture overload here, because I'm about to show you the best things I found at Michael's. Not really home decor related, but through the 14th, they have these three big candles for $9.99. So definitely a good deal, but you have to get them this week. Pardon my daughter's bun sticking above the picture, but this picture here... Regular price is $13.99, which means you can pick it up now for $6.99. So I'm just going to give you some sale prices since everything's on sale at Home Decor until the 28th. So whatever price I give you, it's good through the 28th. You can get this for $9.99. Each one of these letters are $3.99, so you can spell out any word you want. This word was pray, so for $7.98. This thing here was huge and... It was heavy, and it was $29.99 on sale. The most expensive thing in this picture was $15.99 on sale. The most expensive thing here was $19.99 on sale. So even $40, bucks, if it wasn't on sale for a Star Wars thing, is not a bad price. My husband loves Star Wars, so I know this crap is expensive. The most expensive thing here with 50% off was $6.99. And yeah, this is home decor too. Most expensive thing here was $14.99. And we all know that person who's obsessed with friends. On sale, these were $9.99. The most expensive thing here was $20. These farmhouse crates were the cutest things ever. They were pretty big and pretty heavy. And they were $15 on sale. Here's some old-timey chests for decorations. They're super cute and very sturdy. This big briefcase thing right here for decoration was $44 regular, so you can get it for $22. Here's the outside and inside of this chest. On sale with 50% off, $10. That's all it's going to cost you. At that price, it could be a cool little like time capsule or something you could keep, put away for your kids, grandkids. Pretty interesting. Got stuff for the motorcycle fans. Most you're going to pay here was $19. These lantern type things, I don't know what the crap they are, but Went through most of them, and the most expensive one on sale is going to cost you $25. Decorations for a girl's room, all under $15. Bucks. For the fishermen in your life, 
There you go. All under 20 bucks. And cookie jars galore. I don't even know if people use cookie jars anymore, but my grandma used to have one. Really makes me think of her when I think of cookie jars. Ours was a big bird. But anyways, the Olaf one, my fave, was going to cost me $24 after the 50% off. And the little Scottish Terrier puppy up top with the plaid bow is going to cost you $9.99 because it was $19.99 on regular price. Based on all of that, I'm going to guess it's no surprise when I say Michael's is definitely BBB approved. They had tons of home decor stuff. I was so shocked at all the stuff they had. We spent a couple of hours in there just going through every single thing. Such cute stuff. Definitely recommend. If you have to buy a home decor gift for somebody, this is the place to go. And, well, that's all I got for you. Those are our cheap or not cheap, I guess, places that we went to look for home decor Christmas gifts. Just remember, don't go broke during Christmas. It's not worth it. There are cheap items you can get for people that look good, are good quality, and they are going to enjoy. There is no sense in paying $100 for something when you can pay $20 for the same thing somewhere else. So I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch my videos. I really appreciate the support. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if there's something you want me to go check out or something you want me to do a video on. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications so you get a notification every time I post a video. And until next time, bye. Yeah.